Hey guys, welcome back to Sam's Garden Project. Ruff. Who's there? Come on, come here. Diesel, come here. Whee. All right, so we have a few things that I want to get done today. These goddamn dogs. So a couple of days ago, I pulled out my chilies and jalapenos um, out of the raised bed. I repotted up the um, the chili plants that I grew from seed because I want them to produce a lot more next summer. But the jalapenos can, I think I'm just going to put them in the green bin because they've been out for a few days and they're starting to rot. So these are the jalapen jalapenos. You can see how thick the stems are. I'm just going to probably plant some new fresh plants for next season. If I do grow them again, we'll just have to wait and see. And there are the chili plants, so the Carolina Reaper and I think Chili Butchalokia um, I bought as a seedling, but the Carolina Reaper I grew from seed and I didn't get a harvest from them because of the funny season that we've had. So I'm going to put them up. I will need to give them a bit of a haircut so that they can overwinter through the cool season in the greenhouse. I've also sewed a tray of snow peas. There's one just there germinating, and so they are going to go on the trellis where the loofah was. So when they germinate, they'll be put outside. So I've got my brassica tray of seedlings hardening off. We're going to plant some of them today. I pulled out the zucchini and the summer winter squashes, whatever they were, the yellow squashes, because um, now we're getting frost and they're just getting killed off. So. We can refresh this bed and plant out some brassicas. I think the Chinese cabbage is looking ready to go. It's all looking ready to go. They've all got their first true leaves. So we can plant out this bed and plant out this bed once I top it up with some fresh compost. So I've also got some Chinese Chinese cabbage pak choy. Um, so the pak choy that you buy from the supermarket and some spinach bloomsdale long standing so I want to direct sow these into some beds but I need to make sure that I put one of the green covers over the top because otherwise the birds dig it all up and they get and eat the seeds and nothing grows so I'm going to sow some of them as well So in this bed here, I think we might get the Chinese cabbages um, into the ground because these ones look the biggest. We'll evenly space them and we'll get some other brassicas if we've got some room. I have to be careful here because we've got celery that is also germinated and because I'm quite heavy handed sowing seeds I'm going to try not to dig them up while digging up the cabbages. So I think I might try something different with this bed this time. Normally I do rows across, but I might do rows going long ways through the beds. Um, I don't, like, you can see my garden beds, they're not meticulously planted, they're not all in the line or in rows, it's kind of just like wherever there's space. But I think it might look nice if the, especially with the Chinese cabbage, the Napa, Napa cabbage, it's like that type of cabbage. Um, if it's all in a row and then they all get the sun as the sun's going through, they all get it instead of it blocking each other. I don't know, let's give it a go. So I'm going to do the trenches out for the long ways lines and then we'll get to planting.
So now I'm just gonna go and fill the soil in around the seedlings. Like a bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time, it's clear to see from up here. The world seems small, we can sit together. It's so beautiful, you and me. We meant to be. So now I'm just going to water them in with a weak sea salt solution. I'm going to top this up a little bit more. good I planted more than I wanted to but I had heaps of seedlings so um, I can just come out and harvest these as they get as they keep growing harvest some of the smaller ones and that will leave room for the big ones to keep growing so in my pocket here I have some nasturtium seeds these ones are a var variegated variety um, I took some off the plants at the community garden they had nasturtiums and all these seeds were just on the ground so I picked them up and I'm gonna plant them in with the um, brassicas that we're planting out so I'm gonna put a couple at down at the end of the cabbage bed that we just got and maybe in the other bed that we're about to plant out as well just to add some color and also as a companion plant so if there are cabbage moths butterflies around during the colder season that they're attracted to the same smelling compound in the leaves of nasturtiums same with marigolds I think they both act the same way um, and so that will distract the butterflies and hopefully lay eggs on them instead of on my food so what we're gonna do just make two little holes here and just plant maybe two seeds in there two seeds in that one cover it up cover it up and so they should grow and once everything gets a bit bigger I can take the covers off and they should trail over the sides and look really pretty but yeah, that bed is now all done. So this is the other bed that we need to plant some stuff into. I'm just gonna do the same thing on the ends here. Dig a hole, dig a hole. This soil looks a lot better. Like it's got some organisms in it, some fungus, fungi. Two seeds in there. Another two seeds in there, cover it over. Get them out these are terrible they just spread everywhere make sure that goes on compost pile yeah, 
cover them over. I've still got two more, so maybe down the other end. I do have carrots in this bed. These were sown quite a while ago. And they are under the cage to protect them from the birds digging them up. So I'll leave the cage there. Let's dig a hole. We'll go one, two. And I think that's all. Oh no, I've got three more in my pocket. So many nasturtium seeds. Let's put some down over here. Five more. Let's hope the birds don't dig them up. I might put a cover on this bed actually, if we're going to be planting out some seedlings. So I can remove the cage. I'm pretty sure these are broccoli and the end ones are cauliflower but these could be cauliflower and the end ones could be broccoli I'll have to look back onto my video where we sewed these to see what order I did them in but I know that the one next to it is celery so I just need to work out what the two end ones are but let's get whatever this is in the garden beds So in each row here, I've kind of done four or five plants of pretty choice broccoli, but we'll wait and see. So now I'm going to plant out my spinach and my pak choy. I'm just going to sprinkle these at the end of this bed where I don't have any of the broccoli seedlings. I also have something exciting to show, which will be up in a upcoming video. What is this? Stay tuned, video coming. So I'm just going to change my gardening gloves because I got bit by something. It wasn't a spider. It looked like an earwig, but it's not. And it was a really like intense burning sensation. Like, like it was like being burned by fire. So let's just change the gloves and it's fine now. It's been a while. So, so those two beds are now done. The covers are on them, which means the birds won't be able to dig up all the ceilings. I just have one more job to do, which is to plant out my 
um, my quince tree and the plum tree. I'm going to plant them in those pots near the fence. Santa Rosa plum. Just going to dig a bit of this for the root ball. And then we can top it up with some compost if we need to. Very root bound. I'm just going to top it up with some mushroom compost and some sugarcane mulch. We're going to put the Smyrna quince. So we'll just dig a bit of a hole for the root ball. These pots are where I had the avocados and they died, so not tolerable of the cold winters here in Melbourne. So instead, we can grow something that is well and truly adaptable, which is stone fruit. shape it to the angle that I want it. Alright, so it's just starting to rain now, just starting to spit lately, but we've got our quince tree in. Um, they are affected by the pear and cherry slug, which the pears were affected by this season, so I'll have to make sure that I'm on top of that because it'll just spread everywhere. And having all these fruit trees in such um, short proximity to each other means I'm going to have to be on top of pruning, which means I'll have to learn and get better at it because I'll have to do it. Otherwise, they'll all be crossing over, interfering in each other's space. These two are in pots, the quince and the plum in that pot over there. But these are all done now. Not The plum was dormant, only a few leaves left, and so they needed to be repotted. So yeah, that's done, and my plan for this coming season is to have, well coming summer, we're just going into winter, but during the spring and summer growing is to have something trellising up there at the back because this wall, this fence gets full sun. So maybe um, some loofers or passion fruit or something vining to make the use, make the most of this vertical space. Another big project that I have for winter is to put um, coffee sacks down and put a layer of um, wood chip mulch even along the fences too. This will just to help try and prevent all these grass seeds coming up and coming through the fence 
the next door neighbors don't really look after their grass it's just a rental so all the grass seeds come through the fence and this is why I've got grass popping up everywhere which is really annoying but my thoughts are the old owners had rocks down as you can see and let me know in the comments pros and cons to using wood chip mulch as a pathway topping my thoughts are that it'll prevent the weeds popping up and then as it's breaking down it'll add more nutrients to the soil even though it's just a pathway um, but I just don't want to be weeding grass seeds all the time and it'd be easier to weed grass seeds from wood chip mulch than it is from the some really small pebbles that are there at the moment so that's it for today guys we did a lot um, I really need to get out here and plant some stuff in between the seasons get some um, garden jobs done that I haven't done for a while and also plant out the the second sowing of brassicas, so we've got some of them in the ground as well. Dylan is up cleaning the roof of the little garden shed, which is what all that noise is. Anyway, um, don't forget to like my videos and subscribe if you want to see more content, and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys!